This is Lance Briggs, and I'm with the trendingreport.com. This is the trendingreport.com, and I'm sitting here with seven time Pro Bowler, three time All Pro, Mr. Lance Briggs from the Chicago Bears. How you doing, Lloyd? Doing well. Thank you for thank you for coming on with us. No problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. First and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing your fans to uh, ask you some questions here that they really wanted to know, so we can uh, just look, take a look inside, and let fans know what what goes on, you know, prior to your game day and everything else. Bring it on. First question here is from Tamika for Mr. Briggs. She says, uh, "Could you tell me more about your community involvement with the Briggs for Kids, and are you still using your love for comic books as a way to reach out to communities as well?" Great question. You know, the, uh, one of the best ways that I reach out to the community right now through Bricks for Kids is um, football camps. You know, I do football camps here in the city of Chicago in the south side um, in Sacramento, my hometown. And I also do it in um, Arizona, in Tucson, Arizona, where I went to college. Um, it's uh, the, the, the best way for me to give back is to do something that I really love and I really enjoy doing, uh, which is football. And teaching kids football is something that, um, you know, me and a lot of uh, my NFL buddies – you know, at the at, we're playing at the top level, so we feel like we, we're able to give some of those, give back to to a lot of those kids, something that a lot of those kids may not be able to get otherwise. Um, Grace for Kids obviously fo- focuses on less fortunate kids. Um, in the past, I've done uh, events like uh, uh, charity bowling. I've done charity fashion shows. Uh, we've taken. Uh, numerous kids uh, holiday shopping you know um, to to provide uh, financial and emotional uh, relief you know even if it's for a brief period of time for less fortunate kids all right our next question here is from ragu ranguso he says uh, outside of football what do you want your legacy to be outside of football uh, i think that uh, uh, i want my legacy legacy to be someone who who was a leader you know, someone who thought for himself, someone who who stood for what he believed was right um, and uh, didn't do something just because everybody else was doing it. You know, I mean, did it because he felt like that was the right thing to do. Um, I, I believe that you either stand for something or you stand for nothing. Um, so for my legacy, you know, I want it to be one that uh, is cemented by um, my own uniqueness, my own character and one that will always give back. All right, the next question is from Jesse Lynch. He wants to know, what's your favorite NFL memory? Of my favorite NFL memories, um, uh, first thing that comes to mind is getting drafted. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a stressful, extremely stressful, stress-relieving day, all of that wrapped in one day. Um, I was happy when I finally got the call. I was upset when I finally got the call. All of that wrapped in, I, you know, there was a lot of things going on because I thought I should have been drafted higher. I ended up getting drafted in the third round, so I felt like I had a lot I had to, I had to prove. Um, I got drafted to Chicago, and I was unaware of how uh, um, how linebackers, you know, um, the the magnitude of linebackers in this city, you know, defense and linebackers are are king here in this city, and uh, I. I couldn't grasp it at the time that I do now. Um, so, I mean, there, there were, you know, I mean, and, and then you get into games. We played in the Super Bowl. We played in a lot of big games, you know, played against the Packers. You know, um, it, it's – there's so many memories, you know. It's hard to, hard to lock one down. But uh, those early ones, the ones where uh, it all started, you know, is where somebody decided they're going to pick – Pick me, you know, uh, with the 68th pick in the third round and come play for Chicago was pretty special. And we have a question here from Carla Lancaster. She wants to know, with the high school athletes with the same dreams that you have mm-hmm. and had, what would your advice be to them? My best advice could be would be to work as hard as you can. You know, maintain your grades. Um, you can't you can't play any sport without your without good grades. Excel is the best you can at your level. You know, a lot of a lot of people want to be NFL players. A lot of football players want to be NFL players. But you can't be an NFL player unless you're a high school player, unless you're a college player. So, you know, do the best you can at that level. Try to win a championship, you know, when you play high school, you know. And if you're lucky enough to get uh, uh, recruited by colleges and play in the next level, then win a championship there. So, you know, my best advice would be to just drive and do the best you can at each level. Follow-up question comes out. How do you prepare for a game while everyone else is tailgating and getting ready for the pregame. What are you guys doing in the locker room? What's going on there? Typically for for our games, you know, there's a lot of joking around, you know. uh, Guys go to Whole Foods, get 
you know, they get their meals and stuff like that. That's typically linemen. But, uh, you know, there's other guys that are, that are, that are you know, stretching. Everybody's stretching, typically. There's having somebody, we had a chiropractor in there who's getting guys right. Um, you got the hot tub. Everybody's in the hot tub warming those muscles up, things like that. I, I joke around a lot, you know, um, and there's always a period where we, we grab our, our tips and reminders for the week and we just kind of review it, you know, a quick skim to see if there's anything that might catch our eye that, that we might want to stick in our brain just before the game that we might it might have slipped during the week, you know. So uh, it's just last-minute preparation, and then, you know, it's game time. All right, and on your, uh, on your days off, what are you doing to relax? Uh, I like to just kick back, you know, sit on the couch, kick my feet up, you know, uh, sometimes gaze out the window. You know, uh, then I'll go get the Venetian blinds and I'll open it up a little bit more and see, you know, wow, look out there. And sometimes, you know, I just turn the TV on and I flip through the channels and I'm like, oh, look, Swamp People are on. And then I flip the channel again and I'm like, oh, Storage Wars. So, I mean, those are the things I like to do on my days off. Well, Lance, I know you're heavy into comics, and I know you have Lance's Comic World dot com, mm-hmm. and I'd like to know the current status of your comic, Seraph, and where that's at. You know, we were able, I, I teamed up with Top Cow, and we were able to do a first issue. Um, now I'm actually in the process of actually buying the comic back from the company, um, so that you know I can kind of start start finishing the story. You know, there's a lot to that story. You know, uh, put a lot of work into it, and I want to really f- finish and complete that story. Um, um, that, that story really came from the heart, you know, I mean, I really want to see where it fits, you know, in the, in the world. I want to see where it fits in the comic world. I want to see uh, um, where comic, comic viewers, uh, how they view it. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there because I have other stories that I've been working on. But uh, but that's my baby and that's the first one. And and I want to complete that, you know, uh, and then we'll move on to the next. All right. I think our most important question, a lot of different um, people came to the website and put this question through and wanted to know what is the process of the touchdown celebration i think for some guys they practice it a little more than others you know celebrating touchdowns or celebrating sacks or celebrating big plays um and you see you know some guys got a little signature deal you know some guys have the discount double check you know uh you know and different things like that <laughs> which is cool i mean it's, i think it's a, it's a fun part of the game um but for for me it, it you know it just kind of worked out that way I ended up biting something off of one of my best friends and and have been doing it ever since and nowadays you know it's you know when when we leave the locker room you know our coaches and players say hey we want to see some of this today you know because when I see this that means you're making plays you know so so it's exciting it's actually exciting to see because uh, some people have different names for it you know as I come across people you know uh, some Chicagoans and they say hey I want to see that Spider-Man thing you do you know, hey, I want to see that 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 shocker thing you do. You know, there's a lot of different names and stuff for it, but everybody knows exactly what it is, and it, it, it's fun. It's a good part of the game. All right, well, there you have it from the TrenderReport.com. First and foremost, we'd like to thank Mr. Lance Briggs for coming in on your day off. No doubt. We'd also like to thank the Dana Hotel and Spa and the Vertigo Sky Lounge for giving us this wonderful venue to put this interview together that was brought to you by the people. Thanks again for tuning into the TrenderReport.com, and follow us on Twitter. And you can follow us on Facebook as well to see what's coming on and what's trending. Thank you.